computers were supposed to send paper back to the Stone Age. The paperless office was supposed to be just around the corner, with no more letters, just emails. Well, those predictions were wrong. Photocopiers and printers have us using more paper than ever before. Paper production begins with the arrival of wood at the mill. This paper is made from a paste produced from a mix of 65% maple, 25% birch and 10% poplar. It requires two tons of wood to produce one ton of paste. Everything starts from this debarking drum, which removes bark from the logs. It's about a 20 minute operation. The bark will be burned to produce steam required for the operation of the mill. The stripped logs are transported on this conveyor. Now the logs are reduced into small pieces, called kindling. They're accumulated into a pile and remain outdoors, winter and summer. These five piles total about 30,000 tonnes of kindling. The next step is to reduce the kindling into paste. They begin by washing it. This screen verifies that the washer is properly loaded. Then comes alkaline cooking. This huge cylinder is the washer in which the kindling is cooked for several hours at a temperature of 158 degrees centigrade. And this is the recuperation boiler. It burns wood at 1000 degrees. Certain chemical products which come out fused as lava are recuperated. This black liquor, a residue of burned wood, will be burned to produce steam. Exiting the washer, the brown paste is washed and sent to the thickener. With this spatula, they verify the quality of the brown paste's washing. The paste must now be bleached. This alkaline extraction tower places the brown paste in contact with chemical products. It's bleached with chlorine dioxide and gradually becomes whiter. Then the water is partially drawn off. This worm screw breaks up the paste so it can be pumped into storage reservoirs. Water is extracted with this equipment, the Belvoir Belbay 3 paper machine, operating at a speed of 1,060 meters a minute. Between the entry and the exit, the concentration of water in the paste falls from 95 to 5%. Here we see the sheet of paper coming out of the presses. Then analyzers verify the quality parameters of the paper and signal any faults. The paper is then rolled up. This roller produces enormous main spools. With this transfer arm, they change a full spool for an empty one. A roll weighs over 35 tons and contains 60 kilometers of paper. The spooler cuts the main spools into smaller, less wide rolls. Some will be delivered as is, while others will be shipped to paper cutters. Rolls are sent to an automated warehouse. In the warehouse, they store rolls which will be cut later. Robots guided on rails in the floor feed the Bilomatic paper cutter. This is one that produces copy paper. Robots are controlled by a central computer directed by operators. Production reaches 55,000 sheets per minute. Four automatic catchers and operators verify paper quality before packaging. In one hour, this mill produced 6,600 packages of copy paper.